Hi, um, time for some more Cloudpunk. Um, unfortunately, in the last video, I ran into um, another uh, another instance of a problem I've had before, where um, the recording software decided not to record the actual game audio. So mostly, you were just hearing. Um, my recorded voice and whatever it was picking up from the TV, um, which I tend to have turned down really quite low so it doesn't pick up on the microphone. Um, and, uh, you don't get a terrible echo from it. Um, hopefully, I've got this fixed this time. It's just one of those things that I have to remember uh, as I um, set up for recording. same time. Expecting that to get harder as time goes on. I'm quite some way in. Just be some work, work and, um, I've just lost track of where I'm going. Ah. I just lost track. Ah. Jim, I'm so busy looking in front of me that I'm not paying attention uh, to where I'm actually supposed to be going. Job, I think. Oh, come on. Okay, fair enough. Oh, it's a button. I'm here to pick up the heart. Now go. Every second counts. Shit. No, oh, I didn't put bit backers on them. Heart's racing a little bit. Um, no pun intended. Uh, racing. Um, whoa, no, let's 
not smack into everything right now. Just to pick up the plan. Parking. That's parking. Parking, parking, parking would be good. Hey, don't hit that. Cosmetic parking. Of course, it's all the way down here. Why? Where else would it be? Ah! Hey, Camus, are we low on fuel? No. The gauge says we're good, but I'm putting my foot down, and it's like we're driving through syrup. Running diagnostic. I thought this Hava was new. We have only 30% lift in the right-hand rear drive. Huh. The propulsion systems have to power down to compensate. Shit, we're gonna have to go in for repairs. If this is expensive, it could wipe out our whole earnings for the night. Give me a nav point for the garage. Emmett's. Maybe he'll do a fix on the cheap. Damn, what happened to the, um... What happened to the mission? No good, 14 FC. Might as well toss that thing in the trash. It's worthless now. Sorry, Control. You'll make the next one. Did I actually fail that? Okay. I didn't actually feel like I was going slow either. Oh well, let's go and um, get it fixed. I don't feel quite so bad about that because I feel like um, that whole thing is a setup. I mean, I hope so. I suppose it could work the other way around. If you miss a delivery, then it comes up with an excuse, which is you've got a problem with your vehicle and now it's going to be expensive to get it fixed. Can't quite decide which way that could go now. It will be quite clever actually. Oh, ow, that was 
Okay, good. Coming in. Oh, I think let's just back up a little bit. Let do that. Testing the brakes. Hi, Emmett. Do you remember me? Sure I do. You tried to catch old Joe. You're from Skypunk. Uh, yeah, that's right. Listen, my Hava has a fault. Do you think you could have a look at it? Let's open her up and have a look, then. There's just one problem. You ain't gonna stiff me on the bill, are you? I was gonna try. <laughs> this has been a tough night. I think the repair costs will wipe out my earnings for the night. Well, I ain't the best mechanic in town, but I ain't the priciest, neither. I won't bankrupt you if I can avoid it. Especially seeing as how you brought back the drive converter and cleared Joe's debt. Thank you. Oh, All right, I see the problem. I'll program the servitors to replace the alternator. And it's done. What, seriously? That's it? That's it. Well, thanks, Emmett. Thank you. No problem, kid. That was an easy fix. Tell a friend to come here for their next refit, and I'll consider us even. I will. Um, Emmett, whatever happened to Joe? Oh, he finished three more races. Took first place in the Inner City Derby. That's great. I'm glad he's happy. Was happy. He was in a real bad crash in Midtown. Cora only knows what happened to that road junction. It let them all straight into the sea. <laughs> He's dead? He went out doing what he loves, kid. Yep. Don't feel bad for him. No, he wouldn't want don't. that. We have another incoming message request. From? It's routed through CloudPump, but the user ID only says customer feedback. Mm -hmm. Oh no, no thanks. It says, obligatory read. What does obligatory mean? <laughs> the same as mandatory. Hmm. It means this job sucks. Read the message. Please accept a video message. I must talk with you. Our old friend, Mr. Octavius Butler. Yeah, he was our friend? No. It's just a figure of speech, Chemist. Put him through. I don't think we're getting out of this one. I didn't think you would accept my call. I thought I owed you some kind of explanation. You don't need to feel guilty. I don't. But you need to face up to the consequences of your choices. I do, and I'm sorry for your loss. She was... A hard woman, but she was mine. I will miss her. Do you want me to say sorry? Would it help? No, I don't think so. The people you saved, were, were they good people? Who knows? I hope so. This place is broken at every level. Avalon Heights? Nivalis. Life isn't fair, I know that. But we try to make it fair, or fairer at least. Android, human, automata, are not born equal. Some of us aren't even born. Mrs. Octavius Butler wasn't perfect. But she made me feel like we were imperfect to the same degree. We were broken on the same level. I'm sorry I didn't save her. Hmm. That did make me feel better. I should get back to work. Of course. Thank you for listening to me. Goodbye, Mr. Octavius Butler. We got paid for that. The Hova alert subsystem. He seems very angry. The system is a he? Yes. I communicate with many subsystems, and they often choose a gender. And all the subsystems have personalities? No, not really. Just a few of the doer ones. And a human might not think of them as personalities, exactly. How do you mean? Often, automata, like me, can androidomorphize non-sentient subsystems. Android? Oh, <laughs> never mind. Just tell me what the subsystem wants. He says... You have not responded to the emergency support request. I didn't hear anything. He says it is a light. This red light flickering on the dashboard? Shit, that's been going for ages. 
He says it is mandatory that you... No, I don't want to know. Driver 14FC, are you there? Rania, you've been served an emergency support request. Oh yeah, I know, Control. I was just about to get on that. You know what it means? No idea. Another Cloud Punk driver is in distress and they forfeited their evening salary for a pickup. You're the closest. Get over there and pick them up. Is this going to be dangerous? Only for your ears. Baz seems to talk a lot, but uh, he's harmless. All right, on my way, Control. Okay. I can do that. I'm so glad that they bought this and started to play it um, all the way through. I'm, I'm properly invested in finding out where the story goes. Gotta be here, right? Right, right, right. Over, over shot, over shot, over shot. Quick, I need to get home and drink my own body weight and paint stripper. <laughs> Just another normal night in this goddamn city. I was taking a turn too fucking fast. You know that, and I know that. I ain't gonna deny it. The traffic cameras have it all, I'm sure. I'm not trying to cop out. I can't say I wasn't. <laughs> God, I want to get rid of him quick.
But that son of a bitch, and I'll use that as a figure of speech because those bastards don't have mothers, was not looking where he was going. He stepped right in front of me. So it was an android you hit? More like an android hit me. That's how they should see it. But no doubt Corpset will side with the androids as usual. They're all part of the same system, you know. They're trying to breed us out of existence. Androids are breeding us out of existence? Yes, not, you know, the normal way. But they are reproducing and forcing us out to the margins. If we don't stop them, soon we'll be living in the kinds of shitty areas. Where the poor androids stay right now? Exactly. Take my word, man. This Cora thing, it's the next step. What Cora thing? The accidents. It's all intentional. Cora is trying to wipe us out. These earthquakes, they're contractions, man. A new dark god rising. Has it been a long shift? I mean, have you maybe missed out on some sleep? Now, I take naps all the time. That's how you make sure she doesn't get into your dreams. Each nap should be no more than 28 minutes. Oh, sure, cool. yeah. Everyone knows that. So, obviously, the androids are out to get us. And the automata? Are you for serious? Of course they are, too. They're the worst of all. Well, other than cyborgs, why would you let anyone put that chunk in your body? <laughs> Maybe we should keep quiet for the rest of the journey. You know, in case Korra is still spying on us? That's not a bad idea. Hey, Boz, wake up. We're here. Uh, uh, get, get away from me! Don't touch me! There is absolutely no danger of me touching you, Boz. Time to go. Right, right. I'm gonna go tell my supervisor exactly what happened. Control? No, he's in on it. I got reassigned <laughs> to another supervisor. I'll see you later, 14 FC. Remember, don't trust them. Right, later, Boz. Yeah, later, Boz. Hey, Control, are you there? I dropped off Boz. I read your honey. Uh, how uh, was he? He may actually be the worst person I've met all night. And that's saying something. If I'd warned you how bad he was, you wouldn't have picked him up. <laughs> You're probably right. Hey, Control, did he really hit and kill an android with his Hava? He sure did. What a mess. Totaled his vehicle, too. What about the android? Uh, he didn't make it. So what will happen to Boz? Well, that depends. We got no real evidence that he hit that robot. He hasn't admitted to the accident. It's uh, all hearsay. He admitted it to us. What was that? That's true. He did admit it. And you're happy snitching on him like this? Selling out another driver? Absolutely. <laughs> Good for you. I'll tell management. Baz will have his license revoked before the end of the shift. We need you to pick up someone again. Oh, come on. Seriously? <laughs> nah, just kidding. Uh, we do have a package waiting for you at Club Punk HQ, oh, though. Oh, yeah, hilarious. Hilarious. Snap. All right, we'll pick this up and then... I meant to ask you, are you still off the music? You make it sound like I gave up drinking. Well, at one point, you must have loved playing music as much as I loved drinking sake. I don't feel like playing my flute here. Because you feel your music will get tainted by this place? <sighs> yes. At least you can listen to the music stations while you drive, though, right? I guess so. So, what are you listening to right now? I know, I'm an old man and I should like McSwagan and Beethoven and the Bunk Rats, but I really like that new pop idol, Dolly. <laughs> I met her. Wait, what? Really? You mean that was the VIP you picked up? Kinda. What was she like? Like everything in the city, she was more complicated than I expected. I helped her with some management problems. You wanna be careful, kid. Showbiz is more dangerous than driving deliveries in the hollows. I know. So, you don't have time for any music now? I like that comrade Bob. Oh, yeah, he's not bad for an android. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't mean it to sound like that. I just know a lot of androids who aren't very musical, you know? Hey, what do I know? I can't even whistle in tune. 
I just love a sweet voice and a melody, you know? It's been so long. Can we? I hear Comrade Bop has a huge beard. Along. He weaves it out of broken guitar strings. <laughs> it's not as long as mine. Really? I never pictured you with a beard, Control. It doesn't grow longer anymore. But I won't be shaving it. I still can't picture it somehow. Will you show me? Maybe one day. Are we allowed to meet when I get to HQ, maybe? We could grab a coffee before I finish my shift. Yeah, I'd love if that were possible, kid, but I'm afraid not. Ah, don't worry about it. I'll talk with you later, Control. Remind me where this package is headed again, Camus. There's no associated address. Just the nav point. Does it even have a name? I can check. Oh, that's strange. What's strange? This one is addressed to Pashta. No second name. Pashta? Oh. I don't like this, Chemist. I think we're being set up. Yep. Maybe we shouldn't take this package? It could be a coincidence, but I don't think so. Is there any way we can check what's inside? Open it. Any other way, Chemist? We could run a scan, but it would trigger the security system in the packaging. The customer would know we had checked their package and violated their privacy. Damn it. Okay, we're going to run a scan. I need to know. Are you sure? Do it, Camus. There is a message. It is overriding my comm channel. You were warned, driver. You cost me my daughter. I can't let you get away with this. It will look like an accident. It will be quick, though you don't deserve that. Goodbye. Five, mm. four, three. Camus, I can't steer. We're going to crash. I'm not even talking. Two, one. Your friend is offline right now. Your vehicle has been overridden with a logic virus. Cora, why are you here? What's happening? <laughs> the attack on your vehicle has been deactivated. I would speak with you. You should discard the package. I will lead you back to my sanctum. You saved us. We must talk, Rania. It is time to make a decision. For me or for you? For us. Okay, that's interesting because I didn't jump in my vehicle straight away because I just wanted to listen to the rest of the dialogue before taking off and hopefully have a good save point and that would be great for the next video. Um, I obviously had other plans. It obviously assumed I was going to be um, driving at that point. But what I will do is obviously we're going to go and meet Cora again. So. Um, I will actually pause here and pick this up next time and go and meet Carl. So, um, for now, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.